Okay guys, I was out running errands. I got salt and um, water and come back and hubby's working on this wall now. The camera does not show justice. That wall is horrible. Anyway, it's looking good. going nuts but these are if you buy 10 of them you get a discount of ten dollars on each plant so we're buying 10. crazy my husband is crazy decision this oh. i don't have time for that today I gotta do Thanksgiving stuff. No. Are you gonna figure it out yourself? Well, I, went, I went to them, uh, hey, I put the plants here, what do you think? You gonna put them in there and then I'll say, okay? Yeah. I see some spots over here that need touched up. Oh, run into the shovel. What happened here? Looks like a jungle out here. So we got all these plants for you got 10 10 plants bulk for $30 each instead of 40. So we saved $100. Yeah, I see a few spots that need touched up. But I'm pretty sure he finished the other side. Yeah? What? What do you mean? <laughs> Just random? Random. Well, guys, I'm gonna put this stuff down by the road. Put some shoes on. Zorias. Uh, I couldn't resist, so I bought one. Um, this I is the sage. Yeah, yeah. Like out front. Texas sage, three of those. Four of these grass things, but damn, are these little boogers expensive. Six ninety eight for that little thing? Yeah. And so my uh, sense of proportions uh, kicked in, and I went for the bigger stuff. Okay, um, then... Then I bought a full size Ixoria yellow. Okay. How much did you spend? $220. Uh, we're at $1,200 now. Okay, day after Thanksgiving, I've been on the couch because I'm so <laughs> like they're killing me uh, from all, all the work from Thanksgiving, and hubby is out here working again. I created a monster. You're nuts. <laughs> it is nice overcast right now, though. Yeah. Actually, it's cool today. It was like 65 this morning. So, we were out here this morning discussing how to lay out the plants for in here. This is all the, the plants that hubby got. Look, do you see the purple flowers on that? And the ones in the front are not blooming. They bloomed. I've seen it. Yeah, rarely, though. They need more water, I think. I need to fertilize everything. I keep saying that, and then I haven't done that. So, this is the plant layout. And he's going. he's digging holes now. So, that's moved aside. 
So right here is where there's going to be steps going up to the window so the cats can get in and out of the window. We're going to put, you can buy a window cat door. Is that what you would call it? Yeah. So you can, we're going to buy one of those and put it there. Uh, so now the cat catio is going to go. We decided to enclose it here and it's going to go like this. And when you see the stakes are to that corner so that we don't have to walk through a door here and then a door here and we can leave this open if we want to to let the cats out um, during the day um, that kind of thing so but well, you're gonna have a door here too though right here yeah. so we can go that way if we need to go into the yard instead of because otherwise we'd have to go all the way over here to the other door on the end. So, he, hubby keeps changing his mind where stuff is going to go. So, first he was going to put the... I know y'all don't care. The fence on this side of it. And then he decided that side. Now he changed his mind. It's going to be on this side of the walkway. And then it's going to stop right here. So, it's going to go right there on the other side of the bathroom door. So potentially if we wanted to put another cat door there, we could. I don't know. We will. Um, and then there's going to be a door, a gate here. Not a door, a gate. Anyway, so that, those plants are all going there. Um, we talked about putting some more of those shelves up so the cats can, like, climb on it. You know, have you you've seen the people who have... Yeah, we're, the cra we're them crazy cat people now. Um... I don't know. <laughs> they have all these things for the kids, cats to climb on and stuff. If you're a cat lover, I'm sure you've seen the channels with it. So I had a thought here. I don't know if I'll do it with these or something else. But I'm like, well, that would make a good staircase. Because, like, he was going to build something out of wood. But, you know, wood eventually rots. And in Florida, it rots faster than other places. There's the stake where it's going. So I'm like, you could do just step up. With these, like, you know, the first the first one's going to be one, two, three, I don't know, whatever. We can make step up with the stones. And uh, then that would be easy and he doesn't have to build something. So, there's, there's that. I don't know what that's doing there. But anyway, so he's working on putting the stuff in. And I guess I'm supposed to go to Home Depot. You want me to go right now? To that go. So we want to get some fertilizer because do you see this dirt? It's crap. Sand. It's so it's sand. See this? This is sand. Does anybody know where that came from? <laughs> What's his name? Sam Sam Hennison or something like that. Yeah. He's a comedian. He did this bit about I think it was Ethiopia, wasn't it? So. Um, Desert water. Yeah, it's like see this. This is sand. Saying that people should move from there. <laughs> It was funny, so we always say that. I don't know if that's funny anymore. It's probably politically incorrect. But anyway. Sam Kennison? <laughs> Sam Kennison, that's right. That's what it is. You're right. Um, he's passed away, isn't he? Yeah. Didn't he die? Yeah. So that was from many, many years ago. So we need to fertilize. What do you do? Just putting it in, oh, the bucket in the hole? Oh, that's yeah. a good idea. Well, for now, until for now, you, until I plant regular, yeah. Until I get the stuff. I guess I'm feeling okay to go to the store. Not really, but I guess I will. How many do you think? How many bags of cow manure compost? We're going to get cow manure compost, right? About a third of a bag per hole. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's ten, call it ten, ten. Five bags. Oh, five bags. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to start counting around the side you there, sure you too. don't want me to get more because you're just going to send me back to the store again? Get six. <laughs> six. I don't know how many times I have been to Home Depot in the last week, um, last couple weeks. And uh, I need some stock in Home Depot. And Home Depot, if you'd like to sponsor us, that would be great. <laughs> I've been saying that for years. Nobody has reached out to me. I've even reached out to them. They never answered my wife's going to put the matting in. 
No, I'm not. No bending. This girl does not bend well. Have you not watched my videos? This girl does not bend well. I watched you dance around on a tutu <laughs> yesterday. He's talking about the talent show at Thanksgiving. Yes, I did dance around in the tutu. But y'all aren't going to see that because my sister said no. I'm sorry. I would show it, but sister said no to posting that. You just have to it. picture it. <laughs> you wouldn't post it no, either. I wouldn't post it either. I might, I might put it in the, the thank, in sure. the Thanksgiving video, just the picture of us. Oh yeah. The photo, the group photo that we took. Yeah. <laughs> I have to ask Lynn if it's all right if I do that though. All right, so I'm going to Home Depot. And my muscles are all tight, and my legs are swollen. I really should soak in the pool. Maybe at least my legs later. I don't know if I want to go full on in. And mostly my legs are hurting, so that's what we're gonna do. And we decided we're only painting the pillars. Did I show you? So so this, Hubby was gonna try to scape, scrape this off. Then he painted it here and it kind of just blends in the stucco, so we're not gonna bother to scrape this off. This is where the old, although here I go trying to pull it off. I guess we will if we have to, uh, or maybe I shouldn't mess with it. Where the old screen was, patio, before we put the pool in, because you're new here, we had screen here. So, it, we're just going to paint over it. Anyway, this is the old paint and new. You can't even tell the difference here, but on that side of the house, it was terrible. Anyway, what was my point? We're just going to paint over it. So, we're only going to paint these pillars. We're not going, unless it looks bad. We're not going to paint all this. It looks fine. The other side of the house is, house is faded by the sun. You know, obviously this didn't. It looks fine. Yes, it's 20-year-old paint, but it looks fine. I don't think it needs it. Well, that's looking kind of rough. Or we'll just do it eventually. It's going to be last. But we're probably going to have to go ahead and do that whole thing so it matches. I don't know. It might. We'll do the pillars. And see what happens. There's some holes from the screws from the screen that we have to putty in there and stuff. So, yeah, I think he's not even doing that now. He's going. He's doing the side of the house now. Um, and then he said he was going to do that side, then this, then the front, eventually. It's going to take months. We're going to do a little bit at a time. We're concentrating on the catio so the cats can go out there now that it's nice weather. I mean, not that they couldn't go out there in the summer, but it's hot. They're definitely going to enjoy it with the cool weather more. So, so there's no rest for the weary. I was going to spend the day on the couch resting from Thanksgiving. Oh, I just had a thought. There's all kinds of stuff in the truck from the... Thanksgiving that I didn't unload. If it wasn't perishable, I left it in there. Now I gotta unload it. I was just telling hubby, it has nothing to do with landscaping, but these I got off of Amazon and they're super comfortable. I think uh, it's gonna be my pants of choice for the winter instead of leggings. It's more comfortable. So I'm gonna order a couple of these. I'll put the link down below. Like I mentioned them a couple of times, they're buttery soft and um, they're thin although, so if you don't live in a warmer climate, it's not gonna work for you for um, the winter. They're thin, but good enough. They're got coverage enough. Well, it's around the house mostly, but I do wear leggings around the house in the winter and this will be more comfortable, so going to buy several pairs of those yeah so i have all this stuff i did unload some of it but i have to at least unload this so that i can put mulch and stuff in there ugh that needs painted or stained or something and i'm not putting that back in the box uh because that's going on the front porch for my christmas front porch decor all right a couple of, of things venting um just now <laughs> tis the season to be grouchy not me people oh my god so i was turning down a lane you know when you're in the parking lot first of all 
when you turn down, go to turn down a lane in the parking lot, do you turn your blinker on? I'm guessing no. I've never seen anybody turn their blinker on to go down a lane in the parking lot. So, you know, you're looking for parking spaces, so you're not sure which one you're going to turn. So, the lady was in the uh, aisle um, pushing her car, and so she stopped short of going across to go into Home Depot, I guess so I could pass by, but I was turning. So, I start to turn, and she makes an ugly face, throws her hands up in the air and shakes her head like really exaggerated. I'm like, seriously, you must be having a bad day. I'm sorry. I mean, I, she didn't hear me say that because I was saying that in my head. I'm like, what is wrong with people? <laughs> oh my God. I don't know. Are you mad because I didn't turn my blinker on? Or that I, I guess I should have stopped and waved my hand and said, go on, you can go. And, but I figured, I don't I don't know. Let's forget about that. That is ridiculous. It just bothers me that people get so bothered by stupid stuff like that. I suppose I get bothered by stupid things too, but anyway. But not usually people. It's usually things that annoy me. If I drop something, spilt something, I'm so annoyed or something like that. I don't know. Whatever. So another thing is, is so since I've been picking the camera up so much, um, by the way, I'm so confused because doing multiple videos, multiple and on the same day, and it's getting very confusing. So I have to figure out a, a better way to do it or just be confused. Um, so these vlo these vlogs that I have, these videos that I have been doing for the um, landscaping, the house painting, Fix It Friday have been vlogs, but I guess I've always done vlogs for Fix It Friday. Do you want me to continue to do vlog to do it vlog style, or do you just want me to show you what we got done? And and let me know in the comments below. I know most of you're gonna say, Michelle, we don't care. Whatever you want to post, you can post. But I don't know. Let me know if you have a preference of one or the other. I guess. Uh, although sometimes I don't listen to you and I just post whatever I want to post. But anyway, because I, sometimes I don't feel like editing it fully. That kind of thing is exhausting. Especially I've been posting too much. I need to stop. So, so here's the thing. That's what I was saying. So, like, I'm getting confused. I don't even know what I've already posted. So, I have to go back and watch the last video to see what I posted. I mean, I do have dates on my videos but I don't remember if I said this or that or the other thing. And sometimes it overlaps. So I'm thinking maybe the I'm showing every little bit. And maybe I should not film for a week for the landscaping, house painting, that catio whole thing. And then you'll see bigger progress when the next time I pick up the camera. Should I do that? I don't necessarily need to show you everything. I don't know. Let me know. Should I do that? So after this video, should I wait a week and and then show you what's happening? I might end up doing that anyway because we have to order the fencing. I think that might be next. We have to order the fencing. And, and I've not been actually showing you hubby painting because he doesn't want me to. I'm just showing you the progress in the painting. I don't, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Let me know if you have any suggestions in the comments below. And tell me, excuse me, I'm eating a Reese's cup that I found in my purse. Maybe I should wait. This always that. drives me crazy in Florida. This, this is Home Depot. They put up this tree lot. I think they had trees last week. Who's buying that? First of all, the price of Christmas trees are outrageous, at least here in Florida. Because you know they don't grow them here. Um, and who's buying that now? It's going to die. <laughs> it's going to die before the end of the month. Yeah, I I don't know. I We bought a Christmas tree. Let me know. Do you have a fake tree? A real tree? Or don't have a tree at all? Might have no tree at all this year. I don't know if I feel like putting it up. Um, so, Hubby and I have only bought a real Christmas tree a couple of times. Mom, maybe not even five, I was going to say a handful of times, because um, then they just got ridiculously expensive, and the whole drying out thing, and anyway, so, um, yeah, 
we've had a fake tree for years and years. We used to have two. Now we're just down to one in the mini tree. So that would be three. And my sister said to me at Thanksgiving yesterday, she goes, just because you don't feel like putting it up this year doesn't mean you might not wanted to go ahead and do it next year. She so said, don't worry about it. It's fine if you don't put it up this year, but then you do next year. So I'm holding on to the tree. I'm not ready to give get rid of it yet. But I don't think I feel like putting it up this year. It was funner when I used to, if, if you have watched me long enough to know that for like five years, the girls, the older girls, they were young then, for like five years in a row, they did a, we did a sleepover and we put up the Christmas tree and we made cookies and had hot chocolate and went for a golf cart ride to see the, the lights. We did that for like five years. Uh, I think they're too big now to want to do that. I don't know. Uh, I could do it with Alyssa and Xander. I don't know if I feel like that though. Yeah, we'll so I'm laughing at people like in a Christmas tree. And who do I see in the parking lot as I'm leaving? Amy and the little ones. They're getting a Christmas tree today. Oopsie. All right. Oh, I should back up. There's Hubby sitting on the okay, bench. Hubby was trying to figure out how to do this he figured it out so he dug the holes because it would be too hard to cut the fabric and try to dig the hole afterwards he's like how am i going to do this he figured it out so he laid it down and then he just felt where the hole was and cut around it with what scissors or something yeah, scissors. Lots of fun. so you guys i don't know this the black cow manure is the cheapest for fertilizer Honestly, the other stuff was so ridiculously expensive. So, I think that's enough. Yeah. I need more than that. We should honestly dig up this whole thing and put... I know. And then you complain about weeds. You'll get... Oh, nice. from the manure? Yeah. yeah, that's true. Did you go turn this hose on? Okay. You gotta flip the valve and... Okay. So he's got all the holes dug he has all the dirt because we don't have a wag a wheelbarrow so he filled up all these pots with dirt he's got to figure out where we want to dump that at what did he ask me to get him oh to turn the hose on i need to get a zip tie and fix that how many times have i said that on camera like four at least actually no i don't think i'm gonna leave it for now because we're gonna paint this so we don't want to hook that up there. Eventually. Hubby said he didn't know how to do that though. I guess maybe we should get a sprayer for that. Cause then it all just all blend in and stuff. Okay guys, let's go see what Hubby's doing. Zeke's running around the house crying his head off. Oh, he cannot find a pop pop. I just, it's dark in here. I just got through cleaning the whole entire house. And uh, if you didn't see that video, I'll put the link down below. Uh, it is actually two videos, so. Oh, and I need to bring the carpets back inside. Man, the garage got missed again because of Thanksgiving. It'll get cleaned up. Let's see. He wants me to go to Home Depot and get some mulch. So. Where are you, Pop? Well, I think he's painting the other side. So, you see the difference in the paint? That is the original color of the paint. That's how faded it got. But it has been 20 years. <laughs> so, all right. So, well, I go this way so I can walk in the grass and get some grounding done. So, we have to dump all this dirt. Today is November. I don't know. It's the Monday after Thanksgiving. Anyway, so ta-da! Look at all that. Doesn't that look pretty? Doesn't that look nice? Looking pretty good. So I need a rain bucket. He did put that over there. And he keeps extending the catio. He extends it to here. I wanted it to go there. He extended it to here as 
Ugh, sun's prompting. Oh, yeah, he's over here. I am so tired. I do not want to go to Camp Mulch. But I got my whole house clean. And to be honest, I won't have to do anything the rest of the month. Just the five daily chores. So, you're painting. Do you hear your cat? Do you hear him crying? He stopped now. Now that I went outside, he stopped. I heard him crying. Oh my God, he was shut up. He's terrible. He was crying for you. Ziki has been attached to Bob the last week or two. He follows him everywhere, lays on his lap, sleeps with him. Looking good, babe. Detail work. Yeah. That looks so junky now over there. That needs to be fixed. Yeah. Why don't we just, for now, why don't we put the uh, work, the potting bench there and get rid of that other thing? Then at least we'll look halfway decent. What do you think? Uh, I won't get there. It's gorgeous out here, y'all. It was cool a day or two after Thanksgiving, then it heated back up again, and now it's um, nice again. So we're not sure what we're going to do there. We're going to get rent some scaffolding or something. I decided not to put those back there because they're apparently poisonous to cats. So we're going to, we need some color in the yard, so we're going to put it in the front somewhere. blue tape. I'm gonna need the blue tape. And all that wood that was over here, he cleaned all that up. That was back there and stuff. He managed to find a spot for it. I gotta, I'm not doing this today, but I gotta come in here and clean it up the garage again. So, he put it right there. There was enough room in the back to stack it all there. And put it there, so that's where he put it. So that got all cleaned up. Uh, that's going on the front porch for Christmas decor. Bought some ant killer. Maybe I'll do that right now while I'm in the, in the yard. Son was supposed to do that. He did not. So, need some scissors. I'll go around the yard and find the ant hills. So, I think the next thing I want to do is clean up this area right here. Maybe use those plants in this area. Hmm. I oh, need to get rid of that truck. How many times have I said that? And we need another five gallon thing of paint. Yeah, that was looking so good. Um. And we want to do the trim a different color. We want to paint the garage the garage doors white. They're that color of the house, or they were, <laughs> till the sun faded them after 20 years. Um, and but he said to wait till December because we're <laughs> run, not running out of money, but we have a certain amount of money that we set aside each month to spend. And we done spent it already, except for like 200 bucks. So that's not, we got my groceries. So we're going to wait till next month, which is on Friday. So anyway, I have to buy another five gallon of paint. I don't think we're going to do the back. I think I already mentioned that. Just the post. So lazy. So there's one ant pile. Can I do this one handed? Mm -hmm. 
sent Aunt Paul over here. Yes, Rue's been stepping in them. He thinks they're bugs or something, and then he realizes that they're ants. I don't usually do this, but we've been taking the cats out, so with the leashes. There's another one. There's another one. I feel like this doesn't even work. They just move. But how do you want me to try? Big old ant pile. And then all oh, right there is a bunch of them. Well, hope oh, if I pour it out on my right end. You can see them scattering. Maybe I'll put it on there. big one. There's like six in the front yard and three in the backyard plus this one. It's like nine. Hey guys. Um, <clears throat> it is the Tuesday after Thanksgiving so I'm headed to Home Depot uh, and when I come back I might clean this up although I'm supposed to do the pantry for Tiny Tidy Tuesday so we shall see if that happens, it is chilly. I have a hoodie on. It's probably overkill because it warms up quick. And uh, I probably don't need it. But I'm wearing it because I only have so many chances to wear a hoodie here in Florida. Like a handful. Maybe two handfuls. But anyway. So hubby sent me to Home Depot to get mulch and a few other things. So... Do that. And I just got out of the shower uh, with wet hair. It's almost dry though. Um, it's it's already warming up. It was 52 this morning. It's 59 now, so it's fine. I probably don't need this hoodie, but I'm just going real quick. Even though it's freezing, it's not freezing. <laughs> girl, Florida girl problems. I still rinsed off in the shower with cold water, but uh, I think only for 10 seconds. 20 seconds max instead of the 60 seconds that I have been preaching about that you should do that. Um, it is good for you uh, health-wise, mentally, physically, inflammation-wise, all the things. It is good for you to do that. Um, go watch Dr. Jo Josh Axe on Instagram. He talks about that and uh, as well as some other people have said that too. Um, you know, you've heard of the ice bath thing. <clears throat> Again, I've mentioned this before. My friend um, has uh, Parkinson's and she does that, I think, weekly. I don't know how she does that. Oh my God, that's crazy. I can't, I can't do that. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> it feels like there's something else I want to tell you. I do have to call the, uh, this is my reminder, to call the golf cart guy when we come back because yesterday I was driving around in the golf cart doing the um killing the ants with the ant killer and uh did I use all four bags I think I used three bags of ant killer there was like at least 10 if not more mounds of ants in the yard and we take the cats out why am I telling you this because I already told you that in the last clip Anyway, the point is that the golf cart crapped out again. So we have to call the golf cart guy to fix it. And we need that golf cart for hauling stuff around the yard and stuff. It definitely is a much needed thing. So I'm going to do that when I come back. I'm supposed to do the pantry, clean the garage. I've been a busy bee. And it's good. Because I lost like two pounds recently. <laughs> I'm running around with the chicken with my head cut off. Anyway, going Home Depot. So, hubby needed a few things. One of the things that he said he needed was a brush on a stick. I'm like, they don't sell brush on a stick. I will eat my words if they do. He needed 
you know, a long pole with a brush to get up so he doesn't have to get up on the scaffolding as little as possible or the ladder. So he wanted like a brush on a stick. I'm like, I don't think they make that, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna get one of those little tiny rollers. Maybe that will work for him. I'm like, they don't make a brush on a stick. You're gonna have to tape the brush to the pole. I look, but I don't think they make that. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay, remind me to put on my list to get new glasses. Do you see that glare? And I clean them. So, when I look, I mean, it's blurry, but it's clear. When I put these on, it's foggy. And I just clean them. There's, like, this glare that's been on there. I wondered because I, when I first got my glasses, I didn't have any of those wipes that I use that you lens wipes so I used Windex that was probably a mistake I'm guessing I don't know anyway I mean I think it's been two years since I've had these maybe three so it's time to get probably a new prescription so because I know they are the progressive lenses so the bifocal part I can't read small print uh, so it's not doing me any good. I can't read the directions on the back of a box of cake mix or something or the, my prescription or, you know, stuff like that. I can't, I can't, I can't read that. I have to blow it up, look at it through my phone and blow it up to read that. <laughs> Alright, so this is what he wanted me to get him something like this. I'm like, that ain't gonna work on the stucco. That's gonna work on like smooth surfaces. I don't know. To do the edge with. I don't know what about this though. I think it says this is for stain. Oh yeah. It's, I don't know. That's for stain. Well, wait, like that, wait, that one says for paint I want see and it has uh, we'll try that you can put it on the pole ten dollars we'll try that I bought this for the truck instead of always having to use the the blanket because we were gonna get a, a bed liner but we never did so I think that'll work good so, and that's way less than a bed liner. It's only $25. I think bed liner is like at least 100 if not more. So, hubby broke the extension pole that I used to change the light bulbs with. But you can use it for anything. It's like a utility pole. But this one's like heavy duty. It's $40. I don't, I don't know. Can I use this? I might be able to use this one to do that, though. Mm, I don't know how far. It only does six foot. I don't know. Those are expensive. And I feel like that's overkill. And they're heavy. I need lightweight one. Alright, so I'm supposed to be getting, like, I don't know if they have a screen kit. We have enough screening at home. But, like, I need this. But I didn't know there was different diameters I'm gonna have to get a sample of what we have and come back yeah I didn't realize there was different diameters so I do need one of those roller but think yes I need one of these because I know I have one but I have no idea where where it's at so oh wait this one is a knife too uh, it has a knife on the end which one do I want instant repair no I don't want that <laughs> I do the math so five dollars for 25 feet five ten fifteen twenty dollars versus eight ninety eight Yeah, that's crazy. Rip off. Yet I'm gonna wait, cause I don't know the size. 
They don't look, this actually feels like it's smaller. But it's not. I feel like appliances have come down in price. I remember there, like a year or two ago, there was like a $4,000 refrigerator. This one's only $14.98. That's less than what we paid for our current one 10 years ago. We paid $2,000. I mean, it's not nothing fancy. Well, you know what? It doesn't have an ice maker. But I'm fine with that because we can't anyway because our water line is broken. I don't know how to fix it. So, and then this has double doors. Is that freeze or a fridge? I think it's freezer because the ice is here, which would be great. That would be great. Yeah. But we don't need one right now. It's fine. But probably, it's 10 years old. How long does a refrigerator last? Maybe it's more. Yeah, it's more than that. It, I think it's 14 years right, old. Alright, I'll be said to think about carpet ASAP. I think I want to wait and come back Friday or something. I like this. I saw some other stuff that was really cheap, but it was darker. So this color, I like this color. It's pretty and it feels softer than that other one that I, that I saw. I don't see the price on that though. Okay, I know this is weird, but I feel like that's a safer place for you guys. Um, I've tried every kind of mount there is possible and it doesn't work. So, all right. So the bed liner is too short or not wide enough. So I'm going to go back and buy another one. It's good enough for now. What was the other thing? The estimate on the carpet. Where is it? <coughs> I'm at the stoplight. Estimate on the carpet is 1,161 to 1460. Ah, what's the, the difference in price? So he said that you could get it between in two and th installed in between two and three weeks. The they'll come out and measure between 10, seven to 10 days. And then, but from the time you order it right at the beginning, it's two to three weeks. He said, but it could be more because of the holidays. I'm like, I don't want to, I don't know how he's going to say, but I do not want to do this until I don't want to do the carpet until January that because we have to move the hutch somewhere and everything like that he's he's wanting to do it now he's uh, got a wall hair up his <laughs> he wants to do all this stuff okay so it is 10 57 do i have enough time to go home and um judge the pantry for a video for tiny tiny tuesday <laughs> 11 12 1 2 that gives me three hours an hour to judge it, an hour to edit, an hour to upload. Maybe. <laughs> am I crazy? I'm just as crazy as my husband. I am on fire because, yeah. Uh, being productive is boosting my adrenaline for sure. <laughs> so do that. Be productive. Okay, so hubby's about ready to, um, order the catio fencing so i want to link down below what it looks like it has a special top to it where they can't get out of it the it bends over the edge and if they try to climb on it i don't know it springs back or something anyway it's supposed to be cat proof anyway so um i think it's gonna cost like for that so it hopefully it takes a couple weeks to actually get it then that means we can postpone the carpet hopefully don't tell hubby i don't want to put the carpet in right now in the middle of the you know men i don't know they think oh you can do that no i can't do that i mean we're not gonna have like a lot going on but it is christmas uh, we're not doing i don't think we're doing presents and the advent calendar uh, is for the kids and that's all pretty much done going over sisters tomorrow to finish that up um the you know we have enough stuff the pool and the patio and the catio and then getting new carpet that, that's plenty i don't need anything i don't think 
Well, there was one thing I was thinking I wanted. Oh, a Bose um, speaker thing so I can airplay my phone, listen to music thing instead of listening into it through my iPhone speaker or the TV and having the TV on 24-7. So there was that. I think that's not cost that much though. There's no such thing as this. There it is. Except for how do you have any control with that? It was $8. I have the receipt. I can take it back. Yeah. Because I think he wants me to take back something else that I bought. The, a pole or something. So we'll see. You know. I said. He said to get a, a brush attachment thingy. And I'm like I don't think they have that. But. Apparently okay, he's painting. I don't know if you can hear me over the uh, pool pump, but he's painting and moved all this stuff so we can go through it and get it rid of it. I'm not doing that today, though, because I'm going over my sister's. I'm going to get some spray paint for that so I can touch that up. And he wants to get rid of this thing, so we're going to get rid of that. Then there'll be no need for that stupid, dumb fence. Then we have to figure out what to do with all these cinder blocks. Um, some of these containers can go bye-bye, maybe. That's... We're going to get rid of that. That three-tiered shelf thingy. Four-tiered. He doesn't hear me. I'm going to get rid of the four-tiered shelf thingy. I don't know. Yes. Bring that up for debate. <laughs> At the next meeting. Alright. Now I got lights for the Christmas tree inside. You can see that in another video. Um yeah, I'm going to go get something to eat. And go over my sister so we can finish the advent calendar. But that has nothing to do with Fix It Friday. But, you know, it's crossover. <laughs> All right. I do need to clean this up, but I'm not doing, I'm not doing that now. Okay, so what is hubby up to today? Okay. So hubby's painting the columns. He finished painting the whole west side of the house, east, most of the east side, except for the high parts the back this back side well wow that you can see the paint difference on that yeah on the uh shadow side you can't tell at all it's hard to paint can't see it are you gonna paint it what are you I gonna do painted it. what did you paint this column oh the back side of it yeah. um, that you're just working on the column so he finished this whole landscaping we have to build some cat stairs uh wound up the hose. I need to still remember to buy a bucket. Guess what, guys? It's hot. It's been nice and cool the last couple mornings and then warmed up to 75. It feels like 80 right now. Ugh. And it's only like 10 something. Yeah. No, I got... I'm cleaning the house. I'm cleaning. And I gotta decorate and stuff, so... He's saying he did the backside and you couldn't even tell. Yeah, look, it's blending right in with the. Yeah. I don't think you're gonna need to do those columns and stuff. The sun would on the side that the house is the house gets sun is the worst side. So he did end up taking all the caulk off. We were gonna paint over it. He decided not to. So he's been doing that for the last. Two day. All day yesterday. All day yesterday? Yeah. Is that the first day you did that? Yeah. Or two days? Uh, just, just one? one? Day. Spent all day yesterday chipping all the caulk off. The and this morning I swept all the mess up for him. Um, that was my part. <laughs> so he been the lackey stuff. Go get this. Go get that. I'm the lackey. A good lackey. <laughs>
Okay, that's it for this video. Stay tuned for next week's video, which there will be more of the catio putting together. So you see that and we'll try to catch you up to today's date. Probably be a couple more videos, but that happens because uh, it is the end of December here. And I just started showing you the beginning of December on in this video. So until next time, guys, enjoy your day.